Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you how to install the Xbox 360 avatar update. As you can see on my test profile, my avatar is grayed out or blank. We're going to need a USB storage device, a hard drive or a SSD already pre-configured and recognized by the console, as well as you want to make note of what kernel version slash dashboard you are running on your device. So to go ahead, go to system, console settings, scroll all the way down to system info, make note of your kernel version, minus 17.544. Also, you can install the avatar update on a USB storage device if you are using that as your main primary storage, but I highly recommend that you have a hard drive slash SSD as your main way to save the avatar update to. So with all that being said, we'll make our way over to the PC and I'll see you there. Now that we've made our way over to the PC, you can go ahead and plug in the USB storage device. Go to File Explorer. Make sure that your USB is set using FAT32 as its file system. As you can see, mine is. If yours is not, just right click, Format, File System, FAT32, then click Start. For this video today, I'm just using a blank USB drive. Now, go into the description of the video and click on the link to bring you to DigiX or XboxSupport.com and download the appropriate avatar update for what kernel version you are using, whether that be 17.559, you know, NXC, or Metro. The console that I'm using today for this video is on 17.544, so I'll go ahead and scroll down and download that. If you want to download the 17.559 avatar update, it's faster to download it here on xboxsupport.com than it is to download it from DigiX, just to save you a little bit of time. But I'll just go ahead and show you that. As you can see, the folder is downloading. So now go to wherever you have your downloads folder or wherever the file saved, extract it, open that folder, and as you can see, you can see the system update folder right here. Make sure that you rename, change that S to a dollar sign. So it should be system update, basically, with two dollar signs. Go ahead and copy that file. Copy that folder over to the root of your USB. Now that has been complete, I will see you back on the Xbox. Now that the USB storage device is plugged into our console, you should be prompt with this update required message. Go ahead and click yes. And I'll see you as soon as the console restarts. As you can see, on the test profile, the avatar is now present, and he is no longer grayed out. I hope this video helped anybody who's ran into issues with installing the avatar update. So other than that, thank you all for watching. Have a good day.